Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here and today we have a very important and very exciting video for anyone that lives in Germany and I think we have all heard about the new 49 euro ticket and today I want to let you know everything that you have to know about the ticket, discuss the benefits, the disadvantages and to just simply tell you my opinion because I think this is a very relevant topic and if you have been living under a rock or you want to know more about the new 49 euro ticket then I think this video is for you but before we go on with this topic don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel it really helps me out I talk a lot about Germany but I also talk about lifestyle I would be very happy to have you join my little community but now let's go and get started with the topic because I think we have quite a lot to discuss the new 49 euro ticket is going to start on 1st of May across whole of Germany and what this ticket basically is is a repetition of the 9 euro ticket that happened last year it will be valid across the whole country across all public transport you know all the zones which I think is quite revolutionary and a great step forward and I think the 9 euro ticket showed a lot of the people that you know we can use the public transport if it is done easier personally for me as a foreigner when I moved to Munich I found it very very overwhelming and very complicated I think it is still quite expensive but it's gonna be much cheaper than the public transport has been until now so of course it is a great great advantage but I think there are still a few things to know about the ticket so let's go to discussing probably one of the most important things to know is that this 49 euro ticket is not going to be valid to use on long distance trains if you're traveling from one city to the other one and you want to do it quickly then you will still have to purchase a separate ticket for that that's very very important information arguably the most important piece of information so that you don't get any fines the second thing is that the Deutschland ticket or 49 ticket will only be available through subscriptions so even though you can technically purchase it for one month if you subscribe and then immediately unsubscribe but if you forget to do that then they will charge you each month until you unsubscribe so be careful with that and if you have a previous subscription already you can just go either to one of the workers to a machine but personally I find through the app is the easiest way to change your subscription and you have to of course like indicate that you want to get the 49 euro ticket and it should be done automatically somehow they will recalculate the costs that they are taking from your bank account and from 1st of May it will be much less the next thing that is important to know is that only the ticket holder can use this ticket it is not transferable you cannot change the name and you cannot pass it on to another person it will be personally on your name and they will for sure be checking your ID and if you don't have an ID I think you will still get a fine and as well no bicycles or you know animals or anything like that can be transferred on. the Deutschland ticket for now will be valid for at least two years and after two years they will reevaluate they see the situation if it has been useful if the program has been successful so for now we have nothing to worry about and you can use the ticket for as long as you need interesting fact is that students they will have an even more reduced ticket of 29 euros but it will only be valid for that studying semester and of course you have to provide all of your university papers or school papers to prove that you are a student unfortunately pensioners or you know older people will not get any further discounts so they will still keep paying 49 euros people who are under 18 will have to do that with the approval of their parents initially they were only available in a digital form but because Germany still is quite old-fashioned I think people's mentality is quite old-fashioned and there are a lot of older people they actually changed the policy and you can also come with a printed 49 euro ticket but personally I think if you have a smartphone it's the easiest to just have it in your phone I'm posting this video right before 1st of May and if you think that you have to wait until 1st of May to purchase the tickets that is not true actually the sales already opened on 1st of April and I actually recommend to get your ticket as early as possible to change your subscription as early as possible just so that when 1st of May comes you can travel worry free now I think I have covered most of the important things about the 49 euro ticket of course if you have any questions then don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below but now let's get into whether I will be getting a 49 euro ticket and because I think I have quite a lot to say my friends kind of know me as a Deutsche Bahn hater unfortunately that's a reputation that I have gotten now 
but uh, yeah I have to say coming from a very privileged place of course coming from northern Europe you know Scandinavia Baltics Munich's at least public transport is one of the worst I have ever seen it is extremely unreliable I live in an area where I need to commute with an S-Bahn and the S-Bahn is late pretty much daily. I've heard that U-Bahn is better, but still there are always constant strikes, there are constructions, there are so many unpredictable things that I have personally just stopped relying on the public transport. Again, I'm very privileged to do that. I bought a car, so I can afford that, but not many people can. And that's why I think that Deutsche Bahn should do better. I don't know any other company that works on such a bad level, bad customer service and they get away with it. It seems like no one can do anything about it and I find it very sad. I think you pretty much can tell what are my thoughts and opinions and for that sole reason I will not be getting the 49 euro ticket. But as I said in the beginning I still think that this is a great step forward. The next step is to actually, you know, provide punctual and accurate service and I think it is possible. I think there are so many countries that we can take an example from. A lot of my friends say that I complain too much that uh, you know they come from other countries where public transport is non existable or it's worse than it is in Munich. To that I say yes of course it depends a lot where you come from but I also think Germany is such a powerful economy. It is one of the world leaders and I think they should look for examples from Scandinavia, from Japan and I know that they can be on that level. I think that's the reputation that they have but they purely do not stand up to that which I think is very sad and uh, German ego should be hurt by that. <laughs> and to be honest uh, if you don't know what to talk about with a German person just start complaining about Deutsche Bahn and you will have a lot in common, trust me. Anyway, those were my thoughts and opinions about the 49 euro ticket. I hope this information was useful for you. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Let me know what other topics you want to know about Germany, about Munich, uh, about life here, because I'm very open to telling you more and sharing my side and experience. I think we have reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye bye!